Um, holy shit. It's the Tin Man here. Let me just show you this, uh, a bit of an injury thing. It might be a psoriasis. It's a eczema or something like that of some sort. I'll take a peek and see if it's showing up well for you. How's that sound? There you go. Okay. And then, what I got in this little container here is a stinky old supply of out of my G pen, you know, just that cheap, cheap little $40 Canadian unit thing up in Canada here, BC, and uh, right in the mouthpiece of it, stuff like that comes out. So I've given this a couple of applications of this tar after I've been sucking on a G pen and um, it's reacted really well this has reacted very well um, to the I'm sorry I'm pretty medicated I'm gonna get focused here so right now what I'm doing is I'm taking this, I'm just cut it on parchment paper and I'm just using my candle here and I'm not going too close up first. Take some temperatures and stuff, I can go closer, yeah. And I'm just going to liquefy it basically a little bit. Because one thing you don't want to do with the tar is you don't want to wrench it around on the wound. It's starting to change shine there, I think. I'm going for this blob. Yeah, you don't want it to wrench around on the wound. It's very, yeah, I've done that, and I believe I've kind of ended up tearing it. Oh, there we go. I got some stuff going on there. Got to be careful. So anyways, you know, you're kind of trying to massage it a little bit. Hopefully you're getting that all right. Got to see my spot too, okay, that's where it's really burning and itching is in that area. I should have had the bigger amount on over there, but that's alright. So I'm going to heat this a little bit more so I can get a little bit more on that side. Hopefully you can hear my mumbling, me through my mumbling. Trying to get full coverage. Don't go, care if I go a little bit over coverage. I have one more little piece here. Don't want to be too hard on it at the same time. I want to itch it for a second there. So you see that big ugly thing, eh? Well, I leave it like that for a couple of days. See how I've made it a little red in that center there? She's upset. There you go, I'll give it a little bit more of the medicine. So I understand what's going on here is... This is total... Like if you were thinking about this tar coming out of a cigarette, you'd be realizing if that's in my lungs, I'm dying. But this that stuff coming out the end of a cannabis electric cigarette is basically the plant matter and the cannabinoids and the THC carriers and all that the compartments of these things kinda like almost a little bit we could look at it like a bit of a bio waste it finds it 
but it's just because of the way it's burnt and stuff like that is what leaves some of that product behind. That all accumulates in that little filter there. If we eat it or whatever, no big deal. You put it on here, no big it's a big deal where because it's actually helping you and I've already seen some help and hopefully I got some pictures of before and have that with these and we're gonna see further video on this and this is the tin man just uh, trying something out it really is that spotlight that just gets to you man it's just like ah oh, you feel it It's not like you want to shrivel up and just die and get old and grumpy, grumpy. Anyways, Tin Man, all caged up here, ready to go insane. Take care.